Wicked, sick, new world. Here, listen, just take an idea and run with it. Run where? It doesn't matter. Just grab one and run. Why? Because it's better than sitting around surfing the internet for wicked JPEGs of sick ink while shoving Cheetos in your mouth. But I like tattoos. Yeah, that guy there with the skull tat disfiguring his face is pretty sick. Heck yeah! You're missing the point. Put the bag of Cheetos down just once. Try jumping up and stretching for that brass ring. You mean I can get a piercing too? Dude, I don't care if you surgically implant a 1947 DeSoto bumper in the cheeks of your ass. That would be wicked sick. I'm being too subtle. I don't get you. Yeah, then that's painfully obvious. What? Not to mention obtuse, clueless, and oxymoronic. You're using those big words again. Doesn't that gadget come with, like, a dictionary or word find app or something? I got an Angry Birds game app. Here, put, put that down a minute and listen. When I was a young man, I had a mullet, rose-shaded eyeglasses, a gold bracelet, tight bleach streak jeans, and ridiculously priced sneakers. I drove an impractical sports car and spent lots of money trying to impress women. Cute! No, it wasn't actually. Ridiculous and myopic at best, but there were a few differences way back then. Like what? Well, my hair grew out. I changed my glasses when my prescription changed. I sold the gold bracelet to buy groceries. I now wear pants that fit, and I walk around in cheap sneakers. I drive a 20-year-old truck, and I don't try to impress anyone anymore. Aside from my telling you all this... There isn't any forensic evidence that it ever happened in the first place. Wow. Yeah, wow. Hey, can I go back on Twitter and Facebook now? Um, one last thing. During that same prehistoric period, all my immaturity, my hideously embarrassing mistakes, my total and immediate loss in good judgment were local. Huh? Local, as in restricted to my local surroundings, not even exposed to adjacent telephone area codes. It wasn't going to take the rest of my life to outlive my mistakes. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm trying to tell you, the internet is not your private diary, like the one you keep under your bed with the beer, weed, and porn magazines. It's global. It's visible and accessible to almost anyone around the world. And it even stored and it's even stored in databases here in this country. Awesome. Yeah, maybe not. Say you want a job. Your prospective employer not only checks your resume. What's a resu... Skip it. Your prospective employer looks at your activity on the social networks you participate on. Really? Oh, yeah, really. So that demonic serial killer expression you photographed of yourself while holding the half-consumed bottle of vodka posted on your homepage? Next to that pic with your pants pulled down showing the I Love Farts tattoo on your butt cheek? Those very same pics are included in your employment file. They're also probably stored at Homeland Security and with the TSA. I'll lay odds that it's probably even registered with Interpol. Way sick, dude! Yeah, you, you gotta wonder. All you are on the internet is a database demographic. A what? <sighs> Forget about everything I just said. So anyway, what are you thinking of doing in the workforce? Well, the job court tells me I can get into senior health care, like being a nurse or something to old people, like your age. <laughs> yeah? Um, come here a minute. See this gun? Here's how you work the safety on it. Now, you won't have to worry about aiming it or nothing, because you're going to put the barrel muzzle right up against my head like this. See? Wicked, dude.